My name is Sundaraman Rangarajan. I'm a PhD candidate with Human Movement and Rehabilitation Sciences program at Bhuvay College of Health Sciences here at Northeastern University. My lab is called the Regame XR Lab, and I work under the mentorship of Dr. Leanne Chukowski. Our lab primarily focuses on understanding the cognitive behaviors in the autistic population. I had two projects here. My first project is my thesis project, where I try to understand eye movements, particularly in context to dynamic stimulus in our en everyday environment. Um, as a role, as a PhD student, what I try to do is I design experiments, collect data, and analyze the complex patterns of eye movements, and try to compare them with typical individuals and autistic population. My second project is a diabetes management app project, for which we recently were awarded the Spark funding. What we try to do in this project is create a mobile application, both in Android and uh, Apple. Um, we use a lot of different sensors that measures physiological metrics, something like heart rate, respiratory rate, and heart rate variability. And we also measure the continuous glucose using the continuous glucose monitors, or CGM. And we try to predict the trends of diabetes so that you can give your users a heads up about like being high or being low in extreme conditions. Uh, the unique uh, aspect of this app, it's more of a gamified decision support tool where teens and young adults who have to rely on their parents or their uh, physicians on taking like small decisions uh, might migrate into a zone where they can be more independent. In terms of like my, my first project, we are trying to understand the eye movement timing, especially in like autistic individuals. Once we try to tackle this or understand the mechanism of what's going on in terms of like learning when to look at a particular stimuli rather than where to look at it, uh, we will get more deeper understanding of how our brain processes visual information, especially individuals on the spectrum processes visual information. This will help us create more uh, supportive educational and rehabilitative tools that cater to the unique needs of individuals on the autism spectrum. And in terms of my second project, the Diabetes Management app, we do have a lot of apps in the market currently that just shows charts and numbers of different values of different physiological measures that your body is undergoing while you are having diabetes. The unique thing about our app is it tries to make you understand how your body responds to different food that you take and different exercises that you do and sort of get an understanding of how your trend varies within the day and also predict so that you can avoid any sort of like extreme happenings that goes when your glu blood glucose is high or low. In terms of like professional benefits, I feel um, after moving to Northeastern from UC San Diego, where we originally started our research, is the dynamic culture and the interdisciplinary nature. I get to work with a lot of people from the engineering department, as well as health sciences, as well as sciences, and getting to know different perspective of a problem that we are trying to solve here. That is one of the biggest aspects that I've been seen in multiple institutions that I've worked previously, and which has been helping our project tremendously in terms of getting different perspectives and you know, in terms of angles to solve the current problem that we are trying to solve. Um, other than that, um, the lab has given me the technical expertise to play around and give me hands-on training on various different technologies that wouldn't have been possible without the lab setting. Thirdly, it's more of like leadership because I head both the projects and I have a team of students that I work with. Um, I just feel like I've cultivated uh, teamwork and also like how to like allocate resources among these teams and how to take responsibilities and roles within ourselves. One of the most memorable moments I had in this lab was right after moving to Northeastern. Uh, just as a context, I started my PhD with Leanne Chukowski uh, at UC San Diego, and then two years down the lane, uh, she got a position at Northeastern, and we migrated here as a lab. So after coming here, it was my first semester, fall uh, 2021, and we are trying to set up the whole lab in terms of like the equipment and instruments and things needed for late data collection and stuff. Uh, that's when I was doing a lot of like literature search, and until then, I was doing eye tracking research, but. Um, Something didn't click for me in terms of like how to map eye movement analysis with autism because studying autism has been my passion right from my master's degree. So what happened during the first semester was 
because Boston being Boston, we got to meet a lot of people in the academic realm who were doing similar research. And I got in touch with a professor called Dr. Pavan Sinha from MIT in one of those meetings. And I was pitching him this idea of like my move, my project on eye movements and like how to um, map that with autism spectrum disorders. Um, he was talking about a theory that's been around for a decade and like how I can use that theory to as a foundation for my research and stuff. And then what clicked was, it was him who actually postulated that theory. And I came up with an experimental paradigm to test that theory. And I actually pitched it to him and he really liked it. From there on, we had a collaboration and we still have the collaboration with my project where they're handling the computational aspects of it and we're doing the whole experimental, psychological, and cognitive aspects of this project. So that was one of the memorable moments because I never thought I'll work with someone who actually postulated the theory and he also you know, ended up liking my experimental paradigm for the theoretical framework that we were working on. When I first came to the US, um, I was under the impression that I want to be a professor and head a lab and be in academia for the rest of my life. But throughout the journey from my master's to PhD, the one thing that I understood and was revealed to me progressively was the access of these new inventions or innovations to people who really need those things. And one of the key points that I picked up was uh, industry was the best source because they were marketing these technologies, be it software or hardware, and it was easy for them to market to a greater population and it was easier for use. On the other hand, like all the cool innovations and inventions that we do within the university takes decades to like actually come out as a product or a startup and then reach to uh, multiple people. Somewhere in the middle of my PhD journey, I realized that uh, industry was my calling and I could do a lot of like innovative healthcare applications if I transition to industry. From there on, my research also focused on a lot of translational research, and I got to be, I was fortunate enough to get trained to get those professional skills that was required for me to do those innovative uh, healthcare applications in the industry and solve some real-time projects, problems.